Hey there, welcome back. In this part of the lecture, I am going to quickly teach you a method to scrape multiple movies from an array of given URLs and also save the data that we get as JSON in a file. So yeah, let's get going. First thing that I want to do is actually convert this constant into an array so that we have multiple URLs. And I just opened another movie right here and I'm going to copy the URL and then basically convert it as an array. And insert another movie and that's it. Okay, so also let's add an S right here, URLs, and then enter so that we see them much better. All right, so right now we have two movies that we want to scrape and get the details from. All right, so right now I want to actually write the for loop. We are going to simply do this by going right here and writing for let movie of URLs. This is going to iterate over each of the URLs that we created above. Open and then close right here. Okay. Now that the URL of the movie is going to be movie instead of URL, we need to change it right here. Movie. And of course, this should work. We should give it a try right now and see what we have. All right, so exactly like expected, it works. The first request is made and then it outputs the silence of the lamps, the rating, everything that we've got, and then it waits for that request to finish and then it makes the second request to the Gun Girl movie and then it outputs it to the console. So at the moment everything works out like we intend. Now let's prepare the data and save it as JSON into another variable. Okay, I want to define here movies data as an empty array. Okay, and right here before the console log I want to actually push in that array so that we have an array with all the results that we scraped. Movies data dot push and right here we push another element to this array and we want it to be an object. I want to push the title, the rating, the poster, total ratings, release date and of course the genres. And just as a side note, this right here, what I wrote, is actually shorthand for writing it like this. And so on and so forth. But for now, I'm going to keep it like this because it's much more cleaner. Okay, so now let's test out what we did. We should expect this array to be filled with all the details of both movies. All right, let's remove the console log and then console log movies data. And right here, just so that we can access the movies data variable into the debugger, we need to write debugger just like this so that it stops right here. All right, let's test it out. And it indeed stops right at the debugger line. You can do it like this or you can either put a breakpoint right here or after that and it's all the same. All right, let's take a look at what we have. Expand the array and then we have the length of two, exactly what we expected, and the objects. As you can see, title, silence of the lambs, and the second one, gone girl, rating, poster, everything. Right now we have two movies that we scraped and we shall continue by saving this data to a file. First, let's close the debugger and remove this line. And in order to save files to the system, we are going to make use of a native library from Node.js that is going to help us do that. That library is named FS from file system. 
I will also make sure to leave the file system API from Node.js so that you can check it yourself. Right now, what we want to do is import our library. Constant fs equal require fs. All right. We can easily require this just like that because, like I said, it's an already implemented library into Node.js. Okay, so now that we have the library imported and also the movie's data in an array, we can easily write here the function in order to save it to a file. We are going to use the fs function named write file sync, just like this fs.write file sync. This function expects three parameters, the first one being the actual path to the file that you want to write, the second one is the content, and the third one would be the type of content that you want to save, the actual encoding, like UTF-8. Alright, let's start writing it down. I want to save it as data.json I want the content to be the movie's data, but in actual string form, and we are going to convert it just like this, json.stringify, and we are going to input the movie's data array. This is going to basically convert the array into an actual JSON string, and we are going to save it as UTF-8. All right, before we are testing this, I want to explain why did we use the write file sync function. We are using this function with the sync after it because this is basically going to tell Node.js that we want to wait for this line to finish until it goes to the next one. It's basically just like writing a wait in front of it, but this does not work because the fs write file function does not return a promise await and async only works when using promises. Alright, so enough with the talking, let's actually give it a try. Go to the debugger and start it up. Right now we should expect it to create a data.json file in our directory. Let's check it. And there you go. Everything is right here, just as we expected to. We have the data.json file and all the content of the JSON is written right here in this file. This was just a quick demonstration of what you can easily do with just one line of code right here. Of course it can be implemented exactly as you want, but this was just a quick example. Let's wrap it up right here, let's take a break and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.